Hi guys, this is Ajay and you are watching Technolkar. So as in the previous videos, we have seen many things about our virtual robot, right? So what actually you have got one idea that you have just got all the about circuit diagram, what about design, you have just got some of part of the working. So actually it works on a program, right? We have to make a programming so that only the whole circuit is going to work. So today I'll be gears teaching you that how a programming steps, what all their programming steps and even I have just given a whole program in my description, no matters, you can check it, you can go through that, but you will be not getting some of the instructions, some of the parts that what all I have used, pin description, some libraries. So I'll be telling you each and everything in this video. So I hope you should watch whole video to that you can get a pure knowledge of all the programming steps. So let me start. Here you can see that how I have just described there is a firstly I have defined the one of the two libraries that is a Blink Pring serial and second is Blink Simple ESP8266. So these two libraries are very mandatory so that you can get it libraries from the link which I have given up here. So even you can just go through my description even you can open the program and then you can just click on this zip file and you can download that particular libraries if you don't have. And then I have just defined here what all the pin description of my relay module. So just you can observe here what a D1, D2, D5, D6 these all four pins I am just using for my relay module. So what actually it will be doing is one relay module will be controlling the DC motor for the forward direction and another relay model will be con uh, controlling the DC motor for reverse direction. So in this case, in such type of case, I have done for the second motor also. So you can repeat it for all the again four motors so that you have to just define this one particular pin and you have to add for again four. So what actually I have done is I have just showing you about four uh, channel relay so that you can increase it and make it for the eight channel relay also. And then there is a LED light for uh, the, there will be a Wi-Fi LED light. So whenever it is being connected, it has to show some signal, right? That whether it is been connected or no. So there is a 16th pin number which I have connected for D0, which will be getting high and that will be connected with a Wi-Fi. It will show in a blue color light. And here you can see here whatever the pin defined I have done that is for virtual pin. So that we are using your Blink application. So in the Blink application, we have to set some virtual pins. So here what you have to do is whenever you are connecting some device, you have to set one particular virtual pin. So it should not be used for other whatever the node MCU you have been connected and other relay model. That virtual pin should be different from this particular pin number. It should be always like you have to select it from 1 to n number of virtual pins. So that it's uh, mandatory to define that which virtual pin you are using for which relay model circuit. And next uh, here I have just a toggle switch uh, where we have given an integer and toggle sheet 1 high and 1 low. We have just used this. So what actually this toggle uh, state is done is whenever we are connecting because what we are doing is we are just connecting this as a IoT based also and even a manually also. So like for example when there will be no internet connection availability that time this toggle switch all the four will be get actuated and you can operate this particular system by manual with the help of switches. Next up. I will be having the Wi-Fi flag option which I have given as a not so just it will be for uh, low and high pulse and next up this is the main whatever the three lines which I have to define this is the main in your programming first is the authorization code so whenever there will be some new projects you have been designing then you have to just click on a new project in a blink application and then send one authorization code to your mail id so from the mail you have to copy and you have to place here so this will be one unique code which will be given from the blink to your mail. So you need to uh, put this particular code in your program. And next up we have to give the Wi-Fi password. So whatever you can uh, like uh, if there is some Wi-Fi which is placed at your home then that Wi-Fi name and password you can set or else you can give for your mobile uh, Wi-Fi hotspot and password. So it should be defined accurately. There should not be difference in any alphabetic also. If you have placed here small letters then there should be small letters in your mobile too as well. So whatever there is a next instruction this is the wide loop which we have generated. So this will be converting the DC motor to turn it into 
clockwise direction and then anti clockwise direction so what actually it will be doing when we if if toggle street is 1 when there is a switch 1 then digital write pin will be low like how it will be saying when we connect it as a 1 so what i have defined is when we come low the relay 1 will get turned on and then toggle street when it will be 0 then serial pin device 1 is on so as it will be showing us the device is on and we have just connected one switch we have done on and even if uh, from the virtual pin digital write we have done as a one then it will be giving us a forward direction movement of our motor so it depends that uh, whether it is giving a forward or reverse because it depends on your connection that how you have connected the polarity of the motor whether it is in a forward or reverse and then next up here also you can see else if we give a digital write pin high then relay model will get turned off and then toggle switch state will be 1 like if we are kept a switch 1 as a on only and just we have convert uh, this off from the digital virtual pin then the motor will get off but switch will be on only so you need to off that switch and then again on for next working of the motor so there will be a small break we have kept and then we'll be having a case 2 so that in case 2 there will be second uh, struggle switch and second relay module so in this case you just need to define this all the four terminal for the four relay modules so if you are using eight channel relay you just need to double this all the four uh, models which is been there same kind of again four you have to just add and there I have given a delay of only 100 because I should not uh, increase the delay there should not be any much delay just for safety purpose I have just used a small delay to my uh, this one programming and next up you can see in a wide that what all is been connected so here you can see how the relay on or off that is one so blink right virtual right v pin is uh, one and toggle switch is one so this is how I just have to define that whatever the manual switch and then whatever the virtual pins I am just uh, selecting and then you can just go through that all the programming so here at the down you can see that how uh, it's been converted into parameters that how the toggle switch is one then parameter assistant then digital write relay pin toggle switch so this all is been like similar only just you need to place only one instruction and then copy it for the other three instructions and then place as you required according to your application whether you are using a four channel or whether you are using a eight channel relay model and then you can just see what all i have just given when uh, there will be a connected when a blink is been connected it will be showing uh, as a false or it will be showing as a true so if there is a no any connection is there so what you can see that there is a wi-fi flag will be zero so it will be off otherwise if the blink is connected the wi-fi flag will get turned on it will get high and you will be getting a blue color light or as some node mcu is giving as a red color light so it will be defined as whether your wi-fi is been connected or no and next up you can see a wide setup that how uh, we have just defined here again we need to define a relay model pin whether they are output or input because the relay is an actuator so we have to define it as an output and then we have just defined all the four pins in a particular manner and even we have uh, defined the LED because LED is also an actuator it is a digital so output we have done then you can see that how a relay model connection this all the relay models which we have kept as a digital right toggle switch and relay pin then your wi-fi pin also we have declared because it's also one of the digital pin which will be giving us on and off statement so this all uh, program which we have done that is based on a connection of a relay model then in a wide loop what exactly we have added this four instruction is the first state what it does whenever there is a wi-fi connected the wi-fi led should get high right then what if the wi-fi led is not high then we have to assume that the wi-fi is been not connected so what it will be doing us it will make a zero it will make a zero for the wi-fi flag and with connected to internet so whenever there is a no internet connected even we can operate this particular circuit by just we need to connect this all the whole circuit to the manually also so manually also we can connect so as i just given here one two, three lines so you can just get the whole idea from this four only 
like if we have a Wi-Fi status as a connected then it will be doing us high for the digital pin that is which we have set for D0 for a Wi-Fi LED so up here we have just placed a D0 for Wi-Fi LED so you can just go through that and then you can just hide this particular pin and then operate that particular devices so this was the whole like uh, I just explained you one particular program what we have did is just we have uploaded this same particular program in other two node MCUs also and just we have operated only same program is there we have just uh, need to change this virtual pins uh, like if I am defining the virtual pin for my first relay v1 to v13 uh, sorry it is a v10 to v13 and then again if i am just uh, defining for my other uh, uh, this one so we need to change just we need to give it as a v14 to v16 so like that it will be goes on changing we should not keep one particular device and for other node mcu we need to keep this token similar if you want to change your uh, wi-fi password that you can change or else just you need to upload the same program make a compile and just uh, let me check it out uh, whether the whole program is been correct or no or if there is any mistake uh, for my instructions or any kind of things so let me compile this program wi-fi is off so what we have done is we have just stated a wi-fi pin as a off so it will be off even uh, if we set a high then it will connect to the wi-fi and it will show a blink so let me tell you one of the like we have to just follow this basic rule for this any programming so first of all when we are connecting more than two to three node mcus in a one circuit only we just need to give the token same for all the four node mcus just you need to upload this particular token only and you can change the wi-fi password so that if you have a, a, the, a second node MCU in other place so you can change or right, just keep a same Wi-Fi hotspot only supply your whatever the power supply is been done it should be given equally for all the three node MCUs and even the Wi-Fi password and this one name also should be similar and next up what we have to do we have to uh, upload this only program for all our four node MCU because we have done what we have just connected four four relay models for one node MCU and we have just used a four uh, pins why we have used only four because we have just connected one uh, uh, switches also so switches also we have to use so four we have connected and then you just have to define the virtual pin which is the main part of our program when we are connecting a multiple uh, node MCUs we need to set a virtual pin different for all the node MCUs like uh, for example now it is being given a virtual pin from V10 to V30 so what about next node MCUs? It uh, used to be changed, right? So what we have to do? We have to just change it from D14 you have to add, then D15, uh, uh, D15 you should go, and then D16, and then D17. So this have just, uh, you have to change particular uh, virtual pins, and even you have to, uh, if is required, you change this particular of relay model, or else just keep a same. Because for second node MC also you will be having D1, D2, D5, D6. So there is no need to change. But in one node MCU, uh, in one uh, Blink application, if you are doing the same virtual pin, that doesn't get activated for differently. So you need to change this. You need to set for other four different uh, virtual pin and next uh, virtual pin for next other four. So this how make a small change and then let us see by compiling our program that uh, how whether is there is any error or what and what kind of errors we have to get so when you follow this all the particular step uh, will be not getting lot of errors i know even if you get a small error also just to follow the instructions see what it is being giving that is not com selected because i have not connected any uh, this one port here so just let me select a board we have to select ESP8266 and node MC 1.0 so just board you have to select and then go for your port so port is not been selected so let me just compile and check uh, then we can select uh, connect a port and we can connect a node MC and we can upload the program easily so just it requires a compiling should be done and then we have to verify that all our instructions whatever we have run that is correct yeah you just you can see here it's been done compiling so it you are like now you are safe to upload the program and just get it out done 
so this was the whole uh, explanation about the program so you can follow even you will be getting a brief descriptions from my link so you just go you just take the program and for more enquiries you just come to this particular video and just check it out what all instruction where all we have done the changes and make out the changes thank you for watching my video